This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and today I have a really interesting lock for you. It is a dual custody shutter lock that comes right out of Cold War era Russia. It's a new old stock lock, which means it's never been used before, and this did make its way to me with some of the original packaging and paperwork. And thankfully, I have a wife who speaks fluent Russian, so she was able to help me translate some of this. It's made in the Republic of Tartistan, which is a region of Russia, roughly similar to a state in the United States. Then we have the name of the company, which is Santec Pribor, which I'm told all of this together roughly means a sanitation supply company. Then we have the name of the city, Kazan, which is the capital of Tartistan. And if I had to guess, I'd say the K here is where we get the stylized symbol right here on the paperwork and again on the lock. That is the location of the factory. The name of the street is Clara Tsetkin, and if you've never heard of her before, I encourage you to look her up. She's someone we all should probably know, but none of us do. Then we have the name of the product, a lock hanging with two mechanisms, very original. The date of assembly, which was May of 1983, the date of sale, which is blank, an unimpressive 18-month warranty, and a notation that the price is negotiable. So let's take a look at this lock. It's a relatively large one, about 100 millimeters across, 60 millimeters high, and about 30 millimeters thick. The shackle is quite large at 15 millimeters, and the defining characteristic of this lock is the two keyways. You'll note we have one painted key and two unpainted keys for each side of the lock. I suspect that's from the manufacturing process. It looks like they painted the lock with the keys inserted, so the ones that were in the lock got a coat of paint on just the bow. You'll note that one side has a little hash mark next to it, the other does not. That corresponds to a hash mark that's on each of the keys that go to that side, so I suppose there's some way of trying to let the user know which key goes in which side because the keyways are the same. To open it up, each side needs to be turned 90 degrees counterclockwise, and that allows the entire shackle to be removed. The locking mechanism you can see is a pretty simple rotating bolt. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. Which is a very simple mechanism, but also probably a very secure one, and certainly one that cannot be shimmed. We will not be able to take this lock apart today because it looks like it is held together by some pins on the back and perhaps even expanded rivet right there in the center. So we're gonna see what it takes to pick into this lock and let's get started. We got a lot of work. We've got two keyways to open. Okay, we pick counterclockwise, which is different than what we're used to. One is loose, two is loose, three is loose. Click out of four, nothing on five. Back to one, two, three. Got to click out of three, nothing on four or five. Click out of one, or I'm sorry, one is binding. Click out of him. Okay, the other side. Again, counterclockwise tension. And you can see that core is, is not moving as much. That's because the tension of the spring is holding him in place. So to make it a little easier to pick, I'm actually gonna press down on the, the bolt while I'm tensioning this. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose, click out of four, click out of five, back to one, click out of two, and we opened it up. Okay, on both sides, five pins, no security pins. All in all, an extraordinarily easy lock to pick. Um, it begs the question, what is a lock like this used for? It's a dual custody lock, which is a physical implementation of the two-man rule, which means you need two people to access the secured area or object that this is securing. 
Usually in cases like that, it would be something that is either particularly valuable or particularly dangerous. For instance, the two-man rule is used everywhere in weapons security in the US military. I have some indication that this was used in military applications. However, I don't have confirmation of that, and the fact that it was made in a plumbing supply factory seems to undercut that. So if anyone does know what this was used for, please let me know in the comments. However, if it was for military usage, I have to say I'm really unimpressed. Anything that is dangerous enough or, or sensitive enough that you would need to implement the two-man rule to secure it really should have something a little bit more secure than these two five-pin, no-security-pin locks guarding it. That's all I have for you on this Cold War-era Russian padlock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.